I'm at the Wheatbelt town of Quarrating, 150 kilometres east of Perth, for an event called Badgerling Remembers. Badgerling is a, a small Aboriginal community uh, just 10 minutes down the road, and uh, the people who are here uh, have been a part of this community for many years. Badgerling was home to about 30 Noongar families until 1954 when the mission that had been operating on the site for the previous 21 years closed. Some of these families began moving back to Badgerling after about 1980. Badgerling Remembers is a project undertaken jointly by Badgerling Elders and Community Vision to compile photographs of the early days of Badgerling. The project has been described as an exercise in reconnecting and healing. My mum, Lucy Winmar, was a handsome. John Winmar, my dad. My mum's sister, Dorothy Winmar. Dorothea or Dorothy, Uncle Bevan Rinma. Two brothers and two sisters. <laughs> two Anson girls married to two Rinma boys. My mother and father was born in Badgerling, and the young family um, come from the area. But we're traditional um, families to the Badgerling yachting area and birding. So um, on one side, and I got the mead. My mother, she was a mead. Um, my mum and dad were both born in Badgerling. Sometimes this type of project is a healing thing. Most of the time it's, it's for healing. You need to look in our court, in our heart. And um, a lot of times we have people who have passed on over the years. And this is about remembering the past so we can move forward into the future while we acknowledge where we've come from. My grandfather bought me to the Bush Hospital allocation. And I was born in that hospital and I don't know what I think else is in the middle of the room there. Had a group of the church out there. Church. Uh, the elders want to bring to the wheat belt a sharing of culture and knowledge as part of developing new activities. So there's already been a whole bunch of um, ideas uh, floating around that, that we know are going to become a reality to help that dream become possible. Yeah. And we cleared the land for them too. Yes. And ploughed the paddocks and ploughed and put the seed in for them to have their, have their wealth. Having that photographic evidence not only helps your own community understand where you come from and uh, the challenges and the opportunities and the celebrations that were had uh, over the generations but it actually opens it up to those of us that are not from the Noongar community to better understand your life and we should never varnish we should never varnish what has happened in Australia because only by understanding uh, the people that we live with on this beautiful planet uh, and understanding the challenges that they face can we actually get better at walking together forwards so we want to acknowledge all the elders here of our Noongar community. I mean, I noticed down the back we got the oldest Noongar here in, in town, in the Quirting area, Basil Winmar. Welcome, Basil. And also Winnie from the Badgerling community. Thanks very much for um, coming today and to all the other elders here. Badgerling Remembers came out of a wider project by Community Vision to develop inclusive services for people with disabilities in the wheat belt. But the publication of a book and a website along with photographic exhibitions such as the one we've seen today has brought people together in a fresh way to remember the past as they step into the future. It's a great example of Noongars and Wadjalas working together as we reconnect and heal.